So, um, hello, I'm just making this video to share uh, a little amplifier I recently built. And I built this amplifier because I want, needed a, <coughs> wanted a new amplifier, but because I was um, motivated by the recent outcome of the micro amplifiers, most notably the Tiny Terror. And what these amplifiers do, they <coughs> use a low voltage supply to, to run a car type integrated circuit amplifier stage. And with that, they save a lot of space because there's no transformer, they save money because they cannot source the power supply. And for people like us that we like to build our own stuff, it's quite useful because this means you don't have to use mains anymore. You can use a power, a laptop power supply and, and still get uh, a decent amount of power because the integrated circuit, which is designed to work with a 12 volt supply from a car, is, is is suitable for the low voltage uh, power supplies you can uh, get from an old laptop or something. So this means we don't have to deal with mains anymore and we don't have to be or even the 300 volts that you will normally find on, on a, a conventional tube amplifier. On top of that, Orange has showed us that it can sound pretty good as well. So I decided to have a go. However, this amplifier here uses a more traditional um, architecture where the, the tube is actually, the two first stages of the amplifier is, the, is a single tube and is run at 30 volts. And those 30 volts come from a traditional uh, power supply because I already had a transformer and the integrated circuit, a TDA, um, TDA type of uh, integrated circuit. However, uh, the idea is the same, is that if you put a tube in front of a solid state amplifier, it should just sound decent. Now, in the past, uh, uh, built um, JFET sort of amplifiers, and they worked uh, pretty pretty good. However, as if you try to crank a JFET uh, circuit, it starts to sound a little bit more like a, a fuzz circuit rather than a than a tube circuit. However, this however the micro terror shows that it sounds pretty tubey even when it's cranked. Now, for my, for this amplifier, I didn't want it too much gain because I don't use it. But, so I went for a, I aim for a Fender-like um, gain where you have a, a, a broader bandwidth, you know, fat lows and lower gain. Anyway. So the other interesting thing I can I got from the micro terror is that I only have one tone knob, and the idea is that with a single knob you can, if you turn it one way you you can enhance the lows and kill the highs, and in the other way uh, the opposite, and with that you have a fairly uh, interesting range of tones uh, with single knob. So let's just uh, give it a go. That's uh, here we have gain, tone, and volume. So the gain is less than half. That's tone is almost halfway. Let's play with the tone a little bit.
think it works quite well and what the tone stage is is, a, is essentially a big big um, big muff sort of tone stack a tone control and just slightly modified uh, using um, Duncan's tone stack calculator to resemble the curve of a Fender amplifier and I can't really say if it's, I succeeded or not but I do like the result control is the gain and if we just crank it up a little bit starts to break up a little bit nicer a little bit more sound a little bit harsh compared to a real tube amp but with the difference in cost is 